All right, we have another example of using strata and cluster samples. And so let's talk about this. To score the AP statistics exam, ETS hires exam readers. ETS is the company that um, runs the uh, reading of all AP exams. So table leaders and other leadership. So basically they hire exam readers, table leaders, and other leadership. Each reading room consists of 16 exam readers and two table leaders. There are 100 reading rooms and 18 members of the other one are in another room. So first off, let's describe how to select a stratified random sample of 36 people hired by ETS to score the AP exam. All right, explain your choice of strata. All right, well, um, if we think about this, ETS has all these population, all these hires, okay? So the hires are our population, okay? Um, and from here, we know that this is made up of three distinct types of people, all right? And so it may be good to group these people as um, exam readers. I'll just call them ERs. We have table leaders and we have other leadership. Now, from here, we are trying to get um, a sample of 36 people. All right. And so uh, what we could do is just to make sure that everyone is accounted for in doing this. We could take a random sample from each one of these strata. So these would be our strata. These will be our groups. We take a random sample of 12 people in each group. And that would give us a very diverse population so we can make sure that we get enough from everything, um, enough from everybody. Okay, and that would be that would be one way of going about it and doing it. And so from here, we would first label, okay, um, or actually probably first separate. Great. Um, uh, people in each group. Each group. All right. Um, which that would be exam readers. All right. Table leaders and other leadership. Okay. Group. Um, we would then label. Label each person label uh, we would label each person a number person in each group a number one two n okay so label each person number one to n we would then use a random number generator okay um, random generator and we would do that to select all right to select um, 12 people are 12 unique numbers. Remember, unique numbers means no repeats. Unique numbers. Numbers um, in each in each group. Okay. So we would separate in each group. We label each person in each um, in each group. Got to add that. A number one to n. Um, use random number to select 12 unique numbers in each group. Okay, that's what we would do. Um, so we go through and do that. And from there, what we would have to do is that um, the numbers selected would um, be the individuals. All right, um, individuals for the sample. All right, and that's what we could do. All right, and that's one way of writing it out. So separate each like group, um, use random number generator, and that's how it will go about doing that. Um, another one is how would we do it if we wanted to cluster this. All right, well, if you see this right here, we actually have reading rooms, okay, and we have another room. So in truth, um, each room has 18 people, so 16 and two table leaders. And so we have the same number in each room. And so what we could do is um, we could use the reading rooms as their clusters. Okay, so the rooms are their clusters. And so in this one, we would all right, label um, each room. All right, one, two, 101, because there is 101 rooms, 100 reading rooms and one for the leadership. Under one, um, we would then use 
a random number generator. I think that might just the one I'd like to select. Okay, and for this one right here, um, we need to have uh, there's going to be 18, and we want to select 36 people, so that'd be just two rooms. All right, just select um, two numbers, two unique numbers, because we don't want to have repeats. Unique numbers. All right. Um, the numbers selected will uh, be the individuals we we will sample. We'll sample. All right, we will sample. All right, so the number selected will be the individuals we will sample sample and doing this. So this would actually be the third step in our process. So label, use a, um, a random number generator, and then select two unique numbers. All right, and that will give us our 36 we need. Um, the numbers selected will be the individuals we will sample. So from here, explain the benefits of using strata sample and then using a clustered sample in context. So if we're talking about strata, the first one is a strata sample. Um, strata, a stratified sample um, would give us a uh, guarantee. Would um, give us um, a more. I don't know. A more um, uh, let's very give us <laughs> say, give us less variation in the okay um, in our variable. are looking for. Okay, this is variation the variable looking for. Because we're really distincting out um, the three different groups of um, exam readers, um, table leaders, and that. And because we are doing that um, in each one, we're going to have a, uh, a more, uh, less variation and probably are the true answer of what we're looking for. Okay, um, the second one, a cluster sample, sample is much easier to conduct conduct all right conduct um and why is that because um as we are only um selecting two rooms <laughs> all right i'm selecting two rooms um and that was much easier. So less variation with using strata, all right, and the variable we're looking for, cluster sample much easier to do. And so I guess you have to decide what benefit do you really want to do as you're trying to figure out your data. Okay. Well, there is another example of how we would set up a doing a strata and a cluster sample. Hopefully this makes sense and it'll be able to help you figure out some other problems. All right, good luck and God bless.